I guess I didn't know what I had until they were gone. The doors that they unlocked. I missed them so much. I searched everywhere for them. High and low. Every classroom. Behind any vending machines. The library. Everywhere. They came everywhere with me. I just didn't expect that this is... This is life now. A life without them. Where would I go? How would I get anywhere? How would I unlock any doors in life? I'd be nothing. I'm nothing without them. They were my all. They were my everything. I would do anything just to have them back. I had this friend, Carrie. She did some kind of crazy, cool thing. And there was hope. It was hope. We thought we found them. The faculty lounge. We tore that cabinet apart looking for you. We looked under the nasty shelf that sits next to that copier. You know, that shelf. The one that hadn't been touched in probably 20 years. Goop. Gunk. Nastiness underneath it. Carrie got on her hands and knees looking for you. The tunnel of darkness. Nothing came out. I have searched high and low. At this point in life, I just don't know how to go on. There have been, there have been others after you. They're not the same. You were unique. Colors specified just for me, just for my life. You were my all. I try not to think about you now. It just brings tears to my eyes. Not to mention, you left. You left with the one most important thing in my life. The trophy key. You could have left the trophy key, but she chose not to. You chose to leave my life forever. <sighs> There's just not enough tissues in the world. I'm glad that we got the Kleenex aloe vera ones for my sensitive nose because boy have I wiped some snot that has run down my nose from all the tears I've cried. I know I should give up on you. It's been talked about. I just don't think I can. I just won't. And I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you. This is the last plea. Please come back to me. Please remember those moments that made everything so special. We were together. You and I. Bonnie and Clyde. Please. Say something.